All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, by the looks of the video, we're going to talk about a trapper that I got. And man, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. But uh, before we get into that, uh, it's early Saturday morning. I'm already out of the house. Sarah got these, and I'm not a fan, but it's all there is. Um, yeah, before we get into the talk about our trapper, we look, we got the cinch hat. We got some different Ray Bands today. Uh, I absolutely demolished my other one, so I good thing I had insurance on them, but I still had to pay $95 for a replacement repair. You gotta love it. Let's look at what we're carrying. We got the Benchmade uh, Mini Grip, thanks to Boston Blade Reviews. Sent that over as a gift. Love the thing. Of course, it's hard for me to leave the house without uh, <laughs> the sow belly. Man, this thing is getting, it's getting, it's getting wrecked, boys. It is, uh, I don't know if I need to clean it or, or what, but uh, I'm afraid if I clean it, I'm not going to carry it no more. But guys, let's look at this knife that I got on a trade. Remember, when you trade with people, it's got to be trustworthy people. But uh, what do we got here? We got an amber bone. Peach Seed Jig Hunter Trapper, 6354GSSS. There's the end tag. There's the box. Well, guys, when I show you this, you're going to be like, what in the world do you got there? Well, it's a three-bladed trapper I got on a trade. And I don't even know what to say about this thing. But I don't know how Case let something like this out of the factory. Um... Because to me, you got something like this. It needs to go into the case. Wall of Fame. <laughs> Guys, I got this I got this trapper in a trade from my boy, Doom Crew Outdoors. And you guys all know who Doom Crew is. Great guy. Good friend of mine. We talk daily. And man, he had traded me a, a while back. And, uh, I forget what it was. It's copper. It's copper lock of some kind. I think it's an autumn copper lock, but I never even used the knife. And, uh, he's, he's about to hit, he was working to hit 25 copper locks and now he's working to hit 30, but excuse me, I'm parched this morning, but, uh, he's like, Hey, I got this a three blade trapper and I want to trade you. And the copper locks, I don't carry them a lot. I carry the warning once in a while, but other than that, I really don't carry them. And I'm like, dude, this is sitting here on a shelf. I haven't even carried it since I got it from you. So I'll, I'll trade you. And he goes, I got this uh, three blade trapper. And he said, it, it is uh, immaculate. He said the bone, it, it doesn't match perfect side to side, but I'm not, a, I don't care about that. Honestly, that don't bother me. I don't. I don't notice a big difference. I can't see color that well, but man, look at this. Look at the blades, three blades striking three. I really wish I could do this on a tabletop, but I don't have time um, to sit in my room, <laughs> but look at the back springs on this thing. I haven't had a chance to clean this yet. This is how I got the knife. Um, it really don't even, it just needs a little bit of polish on the bolsters. Really? That's about it. But I just put it up on the shelf because it's just a <laughs> golly, man. Look at this thing. Look at the, look, now you got three blades there and they're just, they're just on point. You got your clip point blade. That's just crazy. Phenomenal. You got your gut hook. Crazy. Phenomenal. Look at the blade stock on that too, on that gut hook. And I don't know how well this is going to come in because I'm in the truck, but then you got a saw. Look at this thing, man. He warned me. He said, it's pretty on point, Big J. And I said, well, send her over, by gosh. We'll swap. We'll do the old swap, Rudy. He also sent me two... Uh, other gifts or friction folders. I forgot to grab them before I left this morning, but I'll, I'll put them in another video, maybe a short or something, but I had to show this because this thing right here, 
look how well it's finished. I mean, there is no gappage. The bolsters to the to the bone is a just smooth transition. You know, your your pins, you don't even feel those suckers. There's it's just crazy, man. I love it. I do love it. It's a great example of a well finished knife. It just really is. Um Man, I don't know what to say about it, man. Doom Crew, this thing is awesome, buddy. Um, and of course, he knew what he was getting from me, um, because he had owned the knife before, you know. And to me, and whenever we trade, I usually trade with Doom Crew and Kevin quite a bit. We send pictures, we send video. If there's any flaws, we let each other know what the flaws are. We're honest. And when we get it, there's no surprises. Now, the only surprise on this was I was just overwhelmed on how how good the finish is. I've even got the got some condensation there on the back springs, but from my hands. But yeah, look at that. I mean, there is there's zero blade rubbage. There is just I don't know, man. To me, this needs to be in the case wall of fame. If if I'm a production supervisor and I walk down the line, I pick this up and I'm like, holy smokes, fellas. Let's not even let this one out of the factory. Let's keep her and let's put her up there on the wall, you know, for years to come. But man, yeah, zero, zero gaps. The blades are just, and three blades too, to have three tools, um, strike three right down broadway like that is uh it's pretty good it's pretty awesome so guys again when you're trading make sure you're trading with people you trust make sure you send videos and pictures and and be honest with what um what you're sending that way there's no surprises on either end and i'm gonna admit man with kevin and doom crew and i i don't trade a lot um i have traded with uh actually the this right here came from GR Knives, and I knew exactly what I was getting because he he had a video of the knife. And that's what's great about trading with other YouTubers is usually they have a video of the knife that you can check out. And that's how I actually found that because he just he wanted to trade, and I was like, let me go through your videos, and I did, and I, I seen that, and I'm like, hey, what are you doing with it? And he goes, I'll trade you, and I said, perfect. So, yeah, it's just awesome, man. I hate to I hate to clickbait, but I had to. I mean, how? Honestly, if I got an employee and they make a knife this good, I'm taking them out to lunch and giving them an employee of the month award. E O M. That's what we call it where I work. Employee of the month. Yeah. Again, we'll open all the blades again. We've got the saw. I'd love to test that out, but man, I've got so many saws. And it's hard to beat a silky saw. You got the gut hook. And it's got the uh, the model number. Ting stamp everything on the gut hook there. Oh, yeah. Listen to that. Oh, that's... I just had that out. Then this is a... 2021 knife. So it was probably made during COVID, I guess. Maybe before. I, I don't know. But yeah, I love it, man. I love this thing. It's going to be hard to to ever use it because it's such great shape. But on the saw, it's got tested XX, which I think is pretty cool. And I'd love to do this on a tabletop, but it just I am not going to have time because i got a lot of other videos i gotta, I got to get out. I got, uh, I'm got i going to do the repair. Hopefully, you get the repair done on uh, Tar Heel Steel's knife this weekend and get a video on that. I gotta do a video on my sharpener and a video on that BPS that I received uh, from them. And there's a discount code. So if you go on BPS's website, type in Big J10, I think you get 10% off. I'm not an affiliate, but they just offered that. So, and I'll talk about that in the video and everything. But man, I, I'm gonna flitz this bad puppy this weekend when I got time and uh, maybe take some pics and put it on Instagram. But yeah, look at the bone on that thing. All right, guys. Hey. hey, keep them fresh out there and always trade with people you trust. All right.
Have a good one.